Top 5 Best Presents, according to science, short people are angrier than tall people with your ever-lovely narrator gentleman C-Rex, who is coincidentally a tall person. Before we begin, do us a favor by clicking that like button and subscribe to our channel for more real-life stories every single day. Settle down there, Napoleon. No need to get angry or puff out your chest. Chalk this one up as a bad case of genetics, but really it's only yourself who's making it worse, at least if you're short. Yes, being short has its limitations, no doubt, but really, at the end of the day, who cares what height you are? You can't help that's how you were born, and really, if anyone honestly cares or calls you out for being short, be the better person and just ignore them, because obviously, they have a problem too. Those kind of people suck anyways. But since science sometimes has nothing better to do, they decided to pour some money into research and found that, yep, short people are angrier than tall people. In a study conducted by the Center for Disease Control in Atlanta, Georgia, since, you know, if there's anyone out there who should have a medical opinion on emotional reactions, it should be people who study diseases for a living. They found that shorter people tend to be angrier and more violent than people that are tall. The study called for 600 male volunteers, each between the ages of 18 to 50 years old. And the results found that the ones who were three times more likely to go out and commit violent assault or criminal acts were the ones who felt less masculine. So it's just a head game that they're playing with themselves via some sort of social insecurity. And to make up for the fact that they're short, which stems from these men feeling less masculine because of it, these men acted more aggressive to compensate for the lack of height. People who act like this are famously dubbed for having a Napoleon complex, a term coined in 1926 by Austrian psychoanalyst Alfred Adler. To understand why that phrase was entered our lexicon, a quick history lesson. Obviously named after everyone's French conqueror Napoleon, folklore over time has spread the idea that Napoleon compensated for his lack of height by seeking power, war, and conquest. In reality, the reason why we know about this trope is that the good old Brits use it to their advantage in propaganda published in both print and art to mock and diminish the enemy. By 1803, Napoleon was all over British newspapers being made fun of as a short-tempered short man. However, and this is the real kicker, Napoleon was actually between 5'4 or 5'7 tall, either an inch or so below or above the period's average adult male height. So yeah, Napoleon has an insecurity complex named after him, and he didn't even have it himself in the first place. However, in 2018, people who studied evolution decided to throw their hat into this ring, and a group of researchers at the Vrije Universiteit Amsterdam found evidence of the Napoleon complex in men. According to their studies, people who are shorter than the average height experience stronger emotions of vulnerability and higher levels of paranoia. But of course, since this is science we're talking about and science loves to contradict itself, there was actually a study done in 2007 that said that the Napoleon complex is merely a myth. And in that study, short men were less likely to lose their temper than men of average height. They came to this conclusion after having men of various heights duel with each other all the while their heart rates were monitored. Turns out the numbers show that the heart monitors revealed that taller men were more likely to lose their temper and hit back. But then you have yet another study which disproves this and, well, you can see where this is going. It's basically just a ton of lots of scientific he said, she said going on about this particular debate. However, no matter what science says, at the end of the day, if a person has an emotional reaction to something like this, it stems from something. Sure, some may say the Napoleon Complex is a construct with no basis in reality, but since the idea of what it has been out there for so long, people are going to cling to it and accept it as truth, and as answer to why some short people react the way they do. But if you're someone who likes to pick on someone who you're taller than, just remember, they have a very easy and clean shot to one part of your body that will bring you down like a ton of bricks. So be nice to those who hold such tactical advantages over you. And thanks for watching everybody, tap one of the two videos on the screen for another amazing story. Later.